For this episode of Journeys, we'll be visiting a local visual art gallery. The location? The artist's own house, a two-room flat somewhere in Sengkang. Over the last few weeks, the artist has opened up his own home for gallery visits of up to eight at a time, as per safe distancing guidelines. So we are showing up early to ask him some questions. Hello, Hello. hey, Hello. hi, hi. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. It looks very distinct. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Hi. A lot of artists in Singapore can't just easily find a place to have their works to be shown. So that's why I have this concept of I want to turn my home into this showcasing place. So it's not a gallery, it's not a museum or it's not like a exhibition, but it's just a place where people can come in and you get to really know a person more, which you can never ever do that in a commercial gallery. You go to like those kind of hipster cafes, right? Uh. They're usually kind of in this way where they like to put things and then decorate. It is la, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Have you gotten into trouble? This one? No. Actually, the, the HDB people, they, they come before, they're like, Oh, your house quite nice, huh? I know, yeah, your house is very nice, huh? <laughs> is this vandalism or not? Huh? If you put here, and you don't put here, I grew up in Taiwan's culture of freedom of expression. The arts is very rich and also the competition is really strong. So for some of the artists who grew up in Singapore, they really understand their restraints and they're able to find a way to navigate between the two. Right, these kind of trees and all, these are uh, picked up by me uh, downstairs in my house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I thought you were going to say like what, the, your native flowers <laughs> from Taiwan, all the way from Taiwan. <laughs> you, you should have said that. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, my small space here, my collectors, my sponsors, they straight away they saw the, the wall outside, they'll be like, oh wow, okay, oh this artist is hmm, interesting. <laughs> they walked in, they're like, oh okay, wow, okay, can't believe this is a HDB, you know, like when they, they come in and they see like, oh, like who who will be so crazy to spend so much time to work on all this thing and then yet how do you survive? Hmm, let me think. Why you try this? Okay, I'm gonna switch off all the lights. Okay, Can let me I help you. Yes. Uh, uh, actually, uh, not. Oh yeah, yeah. Let me switch off that. And then <laughs> black lights. So. Eh? Already can see a bit, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Ooh! Yeah. Oh my god, it's a lot more detailed now. Yes. You can oh, see the details, wow. right? It took me a while to paint all the trees ah, uh, cause the <laughs> last time I was like, oh no, you guys are coming and you finish the trees. <laughs> yeah, I cannot stop drawing. I cannot stop <laughs> doing art on everything I touch. Yeah. Yeah, you give me dirt, I also draw something. You give me sand, I also draw something. <laughs> Even though, you know, I'm not really sustaining on this thing. This is what I love. And this is something that keeps me conscious of my living. So, like tonight, like what are you mm. expecting? Okay, so I have three friends and they're bringing their friends as well. How do you think they will respond to that? <laughs> I don't know, I, I honestly don't know. But I feel like today when they come in, it's also where they get to know me and I get to know them even deeper. So, I want to show you guys the, the, the neon thing, yeah. So I'm getting a bit nervous. But <laughs> so, just scrapped away galleries, scrapped away exhibitions, scrapped away public spaces. It's how they come into my personal space. At the same time, opening up myself to them. At the same time, I kind of hope they also will you know, share a bit of themselves to me as well. When we came out of the lift and we saw the place, right? I felt like I was transported somewhere out of Singapore, much less someone somewhere that's opposite my block. I really feel like it's very real. And even as they tell us this is an experimentation and it's nothing like, oh, you want to perfect it, but I, I really think this is the best kind of work. Here, like you can just talk about anything, it can be a little bit more open. Um, even for the artist, it's so much more meaningful than seeing it elsewhere. It's this very, very um, connected experience that Benedict is sharing with us. So thank you for that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm shy, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, he opened up his doors to everybody. His whole life's work is in display, in full view, and they were just being so constructive, so supportive. That really shows me that actually, given the right setting and given the right frame of mind, Everybody just wants to push each other, support each other to greater heights. Give it a shot, you know. Let other people see what you have made. You know, be it a poem, a play, or like any other creative work. Your personal circle is like the safest space that you can try this out on. You can like share the stuff with your friends. They are probably going to be your greatest supporters. And that's what we need right now. <laughs>